So do you ever feel like you are spending so much time pushing yourself through the school day, focusing on this and that and the other thing, go, 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 that the minute you get home from school, you just can't focus anymore. Your brain just feels like mush and yet you still have to do another couple hours of homework. So I'm recording this video in February and February is the beginning of a really hard time in the school year, right? Because summer's coming, you feel exhausted or you're starting to feel more exhausted at least. The excitement of the winter holiday break is kind of over now. You just want to get to spring break and beyond that, you just want to get to summer. Oh my goodness, I had a client yesterday, a young woman who is, um, oh, I'm forgetting if she's a sophomore or junior in high school, but uh, I was on the phone with her because she missed her session because she had to go do a makeup test and she had written me a text to tell me but had forgotten to actually send the text and oh my goodness, just life is feeling really overwhelming, right? And uh, so anyway, I we, we were able to get on the phone that night. I was just like, honey, <laughs> tell me. Like, how's your heart? How's your brain? How's the heart-brain connection going? How are your feelings? And I asked her if there was anything we could talk about that would help her right now for just 15 minutes. And she thought about it and she said, you know, I feel like I'm pushing all day. Just like I told you guys, right? She's like, I feel like I'm pushing all day. And she does have ADHD too. And it's like, it's, it's so hard to focus through the school day. What do I do? when I get home, when I have to do more homework, <sighs> my heart went out to her because I don't really have a magic wand for that, right? But in the moment, I remembered that I had read a study a long time ago uh, about the difference between taking walks in nature to restore your focus versus taking walks in the city to restore your focus. The study had been on college students and they had college students do some kind of like a cognitively draining task and then take a walk in one of these two places. And they definitely noticed that the people who walked in nature came back to their studying with their attention more restored and with more ability to focus again on some hard cognitive tasks than the people who took a walk in the city. So I offered that to her. I asked her, is there any place where you have exposure to trees that you can go to after school? And she said, you know, there is this little pathway behind my house in my neighborhood that is a nature path and sometimes I go walk on it. And I told her, like, I'd, I don't know if this is the answer. It's probably not gonna make you completely feel like, yeah, I can tackle two hours of homework now but it's worth a shot, right? To just come home and give yourself an opportunity to let your attention collapse into nature and let nature hold you for a bit while you're moving your body and walking. So I told her that yesterday. Uh, I haven't heard yet how it's worked for her, but today I did a bunch of research because I wanted to know what research is out there about ADHD. So um, I'm excited to share some of that research with you all in the next week's videos. So uh, keep your eye on my newsletter and or my YouTube channel if you wanna get on my newsletter so you get these videos right in your email inbox. Just go to GretchenWegner.com and sign up. And otherwise, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing some of this fascinating research on a topic called Attention Restoration Theory. Dun, dun, dun. So I'll see you next week. Bye, y'all.